Hello and welcome everyone. It is me, the Lava, awesome on support to do this back for you on the Moftronic Rank Grind in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Um, decided once again on a very good day to get back into this because the day is the day that the Cash Tira cards drop. Boy, am I glad that a Rise card is not one. A Rise card is not one of those. <laughs> um, but yeah, well. Be sticking to the same list as, you know, the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm really liking these ratios and how this has been performing uh, fairly consistently, I might add to that. Although we do not speak about the opening hand in game one of the last episode. So with that out of the way, let's just jump right into it and get into a couple of games. Really excited to see what, you know, we, we, we face this week. Um, hoping that we maybe dodge Cash Tira at least for like another couple of weeks, you know. Um, going second this first one will be troublesome. But yeah, though like without a rise heart, I'm not really sure what, you know, Cash Tira would be doing in um, Master Duel at the moment anyways. Um, good hand going second, uh, Ash Imperm with uh, quite a bit of gas, you know, as, as the kids say these days. Um, should be fairly fine into a lot. Oh, God, Starlish Seyfert. What the heck are Dragon Link choke points? Uh, he goes Seyfert here for, like, one of the baby dragons. Goes in a Heavenly Spheres. And that's just kind of cool, I guess. Uh, Seyfert pitch one from hand. I'm really considering ashing that, then. I think we imperm this, if anything. I think, yeah, we, we imperm the, the, the safer here. Go imperm the safer, and if there's, like, a quick launch in our future, we can just ash that, or, like, ash, ash like, a like a recharger hitting the board. Um. Ah, well, there is indeed a quick launch. Um, do we put him on better habit? Because from here on out, two cards... Probably has like at least a hand trap there or like a beast best here. Um Yeah, I think we ash quick launch. Um I don't I don't think there's like another way to get like a tracer on board, right? I'm not like I know like a bit about Dragon Link, but that's like me throwing 40 dragon cards and like a dueling book li list on like an evening where I was really bored. Um and pretending I, you know, know these combos. Uh, go safer than a striker here. Go striker for boot sector. Does boot sector do something crazy here? Isn't boot sector just when your opponent controls more monsters or some stuff? Ah, I mean, boot sector gets him like a tracer out of the hand, I guess. Uh, controls more monsters. Special A rocket. Well, let's preach that there's no hand traps in that one. Uh, although. It is just that easy, you know? Sometimes you're just a little nice with it, you know? <laughs> you are just a little bit nice with it. Uh, we'll go for the south one here. Uh, see what kind of response that garners from him. We know one card in our opponent's hand is the boot sector that our opponent searched. There is Ash. Uh, I'm very tempted to just caught by that. Because I feel like there's not a whole lot maybe left. And like if that last card is like Imperm or like another hand trap, you know, opponents just built different, I guess. Um, hope we find something decent here. But with a six, I think our chances are very high that we might be starting to cook with some gas here. Uh, just go cell phone, I think. Get another body in if we... Even if we don't hit anything, we can convert our one of the cell phones into a telephone and just play that way. Um, just like that, you know. I should really stop willing things into existence. Uh, we'll go telephone here. We need, like, one good reveal. One good reveal is, is all it takes, and I think then we are pretty much chilling. Um, but currently, yeah, just 
you know, telephone going for cell phone here. I have a cell phone on top, so we are basically guaranteed to hit this one. Though I wouldn't mind picking up something else if the opportunity presents itself, because Remoten does look pretty good here. Because I can go link these off, add a smartphone by banishing a level one. To be fair, I could also just directly grab smartphone here, but I th do we do it? I mean, smartphone and cell phone are equally high rolly. Remote and just gets me to another body. Um, I think we'll just go cell phone then. Oh, I think smartphone. If we high roll into like a repay unit, I think we just win. I think repay unit here just wins it. Sad. Thought I could manifest it. <laughs> I don't have a. Mm, don't have a formula synchron in this one, so I can't get like an additional draw in, which is kind of sad. Um, I'm like thinking, do we just make Apollosa? Hope like a format Apollosa is enough to like keep us alive on the follow up. Uh, boot sector gets back recharger. No target for the safer. I'm like very much considering just making an Appalosa here. Could also just make Goddess, you know. Um, but I'm very much considering just making an Appalosa. Problem is, I would like to clear the Striker. And I would like to go for Mask, maybe. Huh. Uh, I think, yeah, we just make Appalosa then. I don't think access coding here is just the play because we don't kill an access code on the follow up. It's like just a big idiot. So we just make a format up also, I think. We have follow ups. So, like, the thing is, if the Apollosa gets us there, uh, I can just, you know, summon a telephone on the next turn and I guess just win, you know? That's the thing. Boot sector in hand is like. A bit. Yikes. Dragonic has like a couple of good things you can be doing. If uh, Chaos Space. Oh, that's crazy. Chaos Space sent Tracer. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's that's kind of kind of crazy. Up to the difference. So at least gets Tracer back. Um, do the Chaos Dragons in hand, do those activate, Wiper Buster, no, those don't start a chain, which is very sad. Um, Boot Sectors here for Tracer. Um, I'm thinking. Goes Tracer, pop the Boot Sector. Or just straight up summons the Wyver Buster. Makes Chaos Ruler? Probably makes Chaos Ruler, right? Or makes a Pisty. This has to be Pisty, right? It's another Striker Dragon, okay. Linked add a boot, target a face up, monster you control on a rocket and grave, destroy, and if you add that. Do well, I want to negate the Wyver Buster here? So it has Tracer up. So like if I just negate the Wyver Buster here, he pops the boot sector, gets a rocket from deck. If there's like another rocket in deck. Um, which that probably is, or do you just play like the one recharger and this is like kind of screwing our opponent over? Um... Ghost Viper Buster adds Black Dragon, can Black Dragon has no link in Grave. So Savage isn't live. But Chaos Ruler is always an option. I think we hold the Apollosa for now. Because the problem is like you can just assemble like a big dragon um, and contest the Apollosa as soon as 
we use one of the negates. Go Spanish Wyvern Buster, summon Black Dragon. I think what he does here is like the most interesting part. Because... Makes a link to Quad Borrow? Probably Quad Borrow, right? Romulus. Oh, true, the baby Chaos Dragons aren't limited here. Shit. Um... Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, then I think we're fucked. Yeah, TCG pilled. I thought these were limited. Um, can't chain block the Romulus here. Chain, uh, Romulus gets him to Ravine. Uh, he has no discard for Ravine. Oh, I mean, to be fair, the White Dragon would be like a discard. Um, I guess we negate the Black Dragon. Hope that Ravine alone doesn't do enough. Goes Tracer Pop Sector, so it does play a second rocket. I feel like then I'm fucked anyways, right? Because he just goes Tracer Pop Boot Sector. Uh, grabs... Can Caliber be treated as... A oh, caliber cannot be treated as a non-tuner, that's huge. Um, as a link for... But I think even... Isn't isn't Triple Burst already bigger than this Apollos? Or is Triple Burst 23? Is Triple Burst 23 or 25? Or does it, like, crash? Makes a link for... Probably makes access code here, right? Oh. It is indeed just access code, okay. Uh, I think then we're fine, right? Goes Romulus. Yeah, I think then we are fine, right? Shoddy? Smile? Copium? I don't know. Vanishes Striker, pops the Apollosa. Um, I'm very glad I made this Apollosa, by the way. I, I negated one card. Oh, okay, if this draw is crazy, we might be... we might still be fucked. Um, Dragon Ravine... Or to be fair, Dragon Ravine ended this card. This should, you know... Is there nothing you can do with the Dragon Ravine here? Or am I just overestimating how good D-Link is? If this is like a hand, uh, a hand trap, we're in a big trouble. Big, big trouble. Come on, it's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, it's always telephone. Always telephone. Uh, telephone effect. We go. I guess we shall proceed. No maxi. That is already huge. Um, summon a monster. We go telephone. Uh, would have really liked to retain the link Karibo, but I sadly can't. Uh, since I do need the extra body here. Because this link Karibo would have been crazy to like potentially dodge like a Vela or some shit. Be pretty neat. Oh, it's also crazy risky because uh, Bistias. We can just snipe the link Karibo out of my graveyard. Out of my graveyard. One. Summon a monster. Mm. I think we... Yeah, make Phoenix here. The famous one. Just make Phoenix. Smile. Uh, this way we do get an additional body in. Because we can resummon one cell phone here. Uh, telephone here before we actually like commit to anything meaningful because this is already an access code talk on the board which is nice mm, I could have made unicorn here let's see if that fucks me Mm, yeah, because I could have made Unicorn, get, gotten another Telefarm back. Yeah, I guess we'll see if I get punished for my hubris. 
Uh, what's the card you drew? Opponent, there's like a there's a there's a response window. Is this some silly stuff in the grave? Boombox in this game though. We can just go access code combat and pretend like this is game. There's a response window now. So that has to be like a bestia, right? Um, could make Underworld Goddess just simply because it's funny. Um, I think we just go Unicorn Access. Do have a Spelling Grave, so that doesn't do anything. I don't think we fire the unicorn. I think we keep that and just out the access code with our own access code. Because there's definitely something. Otherwise, I think this would have been a big fat scoop by now. Dragon Ravine and an unknown. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I am... I'm linking off the South on here. I think difference is almost negligible. Like, you could also link off the telephone here. Because it um, just makes for less follow-up. Uh, has a response window anyway, so I don't think this is imperm. So this should just be like... Nibiru? Is this game? Smile? Probably has like a... Are the bestials main phase only? No, the bestials aren't main phase only. Okay. It's better this card. Quick effect if controls a monster. That's kind of crazy. Banishes the unicorn. Summons the druid swarm. I punch over the Druid Swarm. He probably sends the access code. Target specials sent yeah, sends the access code. I get in for one and twenty-four here. Uh I could make Musashi here main two. Or I could make Nat Beast. Does Netbeast maybe win me the game? What is my follow-up? I mean, I can... If the Netbeast lives, I can normally remote and make Axel Stardust. I think that is the play. Yeah, I think that's the one. We go Netbeast here. Uh, hope there is no monster effects in our future. Uh, and blanking the Dragon Ravine is, like, enough. Um... This would be kind of nice to walk with. I'm gonna I'm keep it. I'm gonna keep it absolutely real. This would be very nice to walk with. But I feel like there's a lot of stuff that uh, can get him back into this game past turn. That's huge. I feel like draws one for one. Jesus Christ, that's crazy, dog. I mean, Netbeast normal summon box and just does it right. Is this it? Post champ. We take these! Let's go! Holy fuck, that was a really good, ga good game. And right after, like, I made that community post complaining about how this deck makes so many non-games. That was a really good one, I think. Jesus Christ. 19 minutes, though. Holy. I think I'm doing one more, at least. I'm, I'm not, you know making an episode with you know one game if this one ends up a bit longer then so be it but holy fuck this was a banger like i'ma keep it a stack that was crazy but yeah i think the the decision to make Appalosa was was really good there like it literally saved us a turn and we got to retain the access code for like a possible follow-up turn um which you know that's always pretty nice um so you know we we take those i guess we take those that's a 60 card deck 
And that is Gadget Gamer in the opener. <laughs> Please show me what amount of hand traps you have drawn in 60 kind, sir. Gadget Gamer effect here. Uh, we will not be ashing our own gamer. Uh, we'll go telephone here. Uh, I'm thinking we summon that telephone maybe in defense so we can get a, a good banish into the grave for smartphone. Because I don't really like banishing the telephone here. Huh. Man, I wanted to get another game in. <laughs> I guess we go again. <laughs> I guess we just go again, you know? <laughs> we go again. <laughs> if our opponent, like, insta-scoops to, like, the, the resolution of a gadget gamer, I think. Uh, well, you know, try this again, you know? See what we can do here. <laughs> you are going second, yes. Uh, I, I figured that this was going to be happening. I think uh, Mr. Mr. M127 wants, wants, wants this rank, rank up. Funnily enough, that is a site in uh, Battlebit Remastered, one of like the, the, the couple of games I've been, you know, very obsessed with uh, this year. Because, uh, you know, even if... I think, I think I've think i outed myself as like a Filthy League player on the channel before. Um, but uh, as someone who's like been just playing a whole lot of League over the last couple of years, because there wasn't just like a whole lot that you know piqued my interest because i'm a guy with like a very uh narrow field of interest but i'm very hyper focused on those um so yeah this year was kind of nice for me because i've been playing uh, a lot of cool new games um battle bit remastered as mentioned um but yeah back to Mortronic combos <laughs> Before this turns into like another podcast episode, um, but I think you'll you'll find me ranting about those games on uh, my my Twitter account in the next couple of days, maybe. Uh, kind of talking about how, like, I've 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 had you know three, like insanely good experiences with new games this year. I'll go you know Salafon. Uh, whoa, Chain Havness! Did I just activate a monster effect? <laughs> Chain Maxi. <laughs> Chain Havness Maxi. Um, I think we let the Maxi resolve and then caught by like some funny stuff that maybe gets milled of the Havness. I mean, this is, I guess, uh, something that happens when like the average Tillemans list looks like a goat deck. Has a couple of telephones in there. That's pretty good. Oh, it's all three. Impressive. Uh, hit Shiran. I think then we just called by Shiran here, right? Unless like there's a there's a there, there's a certain degree of crime involved if you catch what I'm saying. I would like to call by your Shiran, if you don't mind, because I would rather you not, you know, do Tillman stuff in my turn. That would be very cool. Thank you very much. Uh, are we, are we, you know, doing some non-legal activities? Are, you know, are those being committed? Do we have a criminal on the run? Mr. M127. No criminal activities here, I see. Impressive. Adds a Tierlemans trap. Though I wouldn't feel like too safe, because like those two back rows can still be like very devastating cards, of course. Um, Tierlemans has like a, a very good amount of back row, that's like the thing. Uh, Saliak and Crime are both like very, very good cards just by themselves. Uh, we'll go for the Karibo of the Link variety here. Draws one. And we've already chained Havness, which like makes our life a bit easier. Um, what's like the next best thing? It's like Ash, probably, right? 
Ash for like something. Um, could also just uh, high roll into into Kekback, and Kekback bounce something. That'd be not very cool. Mm, I'm kind of worried about like a like a Soliac, uh, which is why I'm probably actually making like a Phoenix to you know do Phoenix thing. Oh, that's not good. Oh, to be fair, I only have like one. Oh, pitches Kekback. Oh nay. <laughs> Ah, that's not good. That is that is not good. That is not good. Wait, oh, makes Garura right? Oh, this son of a. That's not very nice. <laughs> Just took my phone. My phones actually took my phones away. Ooh, melt snow. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Um, I'm not liking this. I don't know about this one, Chief. How many Mothronics do we have to banish here? We have a Molten Grave. I think that's pretty good. Summon Smartphone here. C to like snipe the last back row. <sighs> Snow is kind of crazy here, I feel like. Just why I'll maybe try and win this with like a couple Link monsters, if anything. Because, yeah. Fusion of Fusion by placing materials. Fires the snow now. Okay. I think that's good for us because I can just one for one um, pitch the smartphone summon telephone and then I think I just win right literally just go one for one here hope that there's no ash involved unless un which is a thing could be a thing maybe i don't know um yeah i guess that's 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 the line <clears throat> but there's a response for no which never which oh whoa passes priority back hold up we might be doing a bit of cooking we don't get the draw of a phoenix, but I think that's fine. Wait, Kekbeck is not limited? Aren't like all the Ishizu pieces limited? Huh, well... Personally, I want to say this is a good a time as ever to just scoop it up because this is the elements with five cards left in hand. <laughs> I don't think there's like anything that keeps us alive. Um, I'll see if like summons Rhino Heart or something, then I'm probably just gonna gonna scoop and finish off the episode here. It's it's sad, you know, but. Uh, I think that saves us and a couple people with the Telemans PTSD valuable time and uh, nerves, which is nice. So we take that. But yeah, Chain Havness, Chain Maxi. Some people are just built different. Uh, okay, there goes the Imperm, because Heart beats a card. This, 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 this silly little bird. Dumps Modora. So you want to tell me that... Oh, okay. Rhoda gets him the Rhino. Yep. Rhoda gets him the Rhino. Yep. This, this, this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. We tried. We tried, we tried, we tried. <sighs> we drew a hell of a lot of engine there. That's the crazy part. Um, problem is I even can't even play that different because if I if I go for the smartphone first, uh, then you just like 
changes the change the cal back anyways and just puts me on like two cards in hand and I don't have like another card to pitch for the one for one there. But I think that Dragon Link game was sick. Holy. Um but yeah, I guess this is another longer episode, which according to statistics uh you guys don't mind uh, which is great i am so grateful for that holy i literally cannot stress this enough i'm so grateful for that um so yeah with all that out of the way i think this was a good one we've had some ups we had some downs and we had some tier elements um so yeah with all that out of the way i will thank you guys very much for watching and see you guys again next time but until then goodbye